Hi guys and welcome as usual, I want to share my own thoughts about the crypto world, what's happening and what's gonna happen. Today we have quite interesting situation because uh, we are down, we are totally down. The price for Bitcoin is a little bit lower than 21,000, uh, 2999, Ethereum around 1500 and uh, BNB around 294. Crypto market cap is really low. Uh, for a long time ago, it, it it happened, and we can't jump from the uh, one trillion. We hovering around the one trillion dollars. Bitcoin dominance forty percent, ETH dominance nineteen point one. There are five hundred eighteen exchanges, and there are twenty thousand six hundred ninety one cryptos out there. So what's actually happening? What's actually happening? Stock market is struggling. Look at that totally red uh, except just couple projects mm, we can see that the situation in the stock market is not so bright and not so uh, beautiful not so promising and when the stock market is struggling the investors are pretty the same the, the same uh, institutional investors the same uh, people who investing in stock market and who investing into the crypto they are the same when they uh, they're struggling when they get losses uh, they can't afford to invest in crypto more when they have losses in the stock market uh, crypto fear and great index shows 28 we got back to to the fear actually we haven't jumped out from it uh, we didn't saw neutral positions and greed positions. We are uh, inside of a fear. Now it shows 28 and uh, probably is going to go even lower to extreme fear. But in the matter of fact, we are at the altcoin season. Inside the altcoin season, this, um, this metric shows are we at the altcoin season or at the Bitcoin season. Bitcoin season was quite short. And right now uh, we are at the altcoin season, but uh, last week we saw that we had a lot of green color here. We had a lot of gainers, but right now mm, it's more than half in the red zone, more than half. Let's take a look to the crypto bubbles. Let's refresh it. Okay, so what do we have here? Daily, we're going down except like five or six projects so maybe seven this is top 100 uh we are correcting right now we're correcting average five percent despite the 1.71 percent decrease um over the last day in average we're lower than two percent five four point six let's say four percent in average we are down uh, Bitcoin rainbow price chart still shows that we are at the basically fire sale zone where you definitely need to uh, need to consider this situation, need to consider these levels. And if you want to jump to crypto, this could be a perfect buying opportunity for those people who didn't jump uh, to the crypto yet. Okay, we are basically at the fire sale. Uh, we are at the bearish market and we slowly, slowly go in higher uh but uh, it, it need to take some time let's switch to weekly picture and the weekly picture also shows that uh, we are correcting lower we're correcting lower when the bitcoin was showing uh, some some growth it was not exponential it was slow it was in the in the flat actually uh, but right now we can see that we corrected average 15, 17%, like 22, 18, 16, 20, and so, so on. This is weekly picture. And we are not growing. We are not growing except some, some projects on the daily basis. So let's jump to the chart of Bitcoin to USDT. What's happening here? Uh, I told you that we're going to move flat and we are moving flat and we touched the 21 uh we we touched the 25 mark and went lower to this positions right now we are around 21000 
um, for the moment of making this video, 20,985 this price. And you see the volatility is really small here. At this area, the volatility is really small. Uh, definitely, definitely, we can go even lower to the 18,000 mark to see at least something. We need to jump over 25 and hold above these levels. But as we can see, we are down and uh, the path to 25,000 is, is quite long uh, and it's not going to be sharp, definitely. So we're going to move sideways a couple more days and uh, those red candles here shows that probably we're going to touch the, the, the levels of 20 and 0.7 and then we're going to see what's going to happen. Maybe we're going to go even lower uh, than this positions. But of course, everybody's waiting for the growth. Everybody's waiting for uh, some exponential, really cool numbers in green market because uh, we are at the altcoin season and uh, it need to be green, actually. Ethereum. Ethereum also fell down to 1.5. It touched $2,000 uh, last week and right now we corrected lower to 1.5. Uh, we're gonna move sideways for that. Uh, I don't see signs of going lower, but we can touch this levels. You see, uh, we can touch 1.3 thousand. Um, but it, it depends on the movement of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin will grow, uh, Ethereum also will follow and, and will grow a little bit. BNB uh, jumped over the uh, overtime support. And right now we can see that we touched 274, jumped a little bit higher to 300. And now we consider in positions at 294. Uh, I expect also side moves for this, uh, for this token, for this coin, because uh, uh, I, I don't see, uh, I don't see any signs of exponential growth, and we need to touch uh, 300 levels to to go any higher. Well, guys, mm, nothing has significantly changed, actually, and we are around 21,000 for Bitcoin. Dominance is still high at the level of 40 percent eth dominance 19. Uh, the global crypto market cap is really poor and uh, of course it depends it depends if we're going to have new money inside of the market uh, that's going to be cool but uh, as um, as all the market sentiment is fear nothing will change um, globally exponentially nothing will change so uh, we're gonna stay tuned for for the updates and uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving you any financial advice except one. Do not invest more money than you can afford to lose. Thanks, guys. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye.